Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm finally back filming. I'm so happy to be back and filming. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've been able to get a video up and going. Things around here have been a little crazy, but they've been good. So I just want to jump into this video and get it done so that I can get it up and yeah, I'm really excited to just be filming and doing this all over again. So today I'm going to talk about my monthly favorites. I didn't get a chance to film an August favorite in and out of the hospital and back to school and all of that fun stuff. We'll get into more of that later, but I didn't have a lot of products to talk about anyway, so I'm just going to toss them into the September favorites. Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I was always one of those lucky people who didn't really have problems with my pores and throughout my pregnancy I started to notice my pores were more, more visible on my nose and just kind of in this cheek area. I saw this one at the drugstore for like $6. I heard some really good things about it. I heard it's supposed to be a dupe for the professional. So far I like it. I just put it on my nose and you know like I said in this cheek area before putting on any foundation and it does it does help it's not dramatic my pores still aren't terrible they're not huge but I have been noticing some changes and then the next thing I want to talk about Olay total effects 7-in-1 CC cream I love this thing I can't even I can't even can't even explain how much I love this I've been using it for a couple of months now it was great over the summer. It didn't break down or melt. It didn't feel too heavy, but it does incredible things to my skin. It evens out um, the texture, it covers pores. Uh, I, I get a lot of red blotchy patches and it just wipes that right out. It feels like a moisturizer. It's really nice and light, um, but I can't believe the coverage on this. Like I've been wearing this alone kind of as a foundation for I'd say like two months now, and I apply it with, I like to apply it with my Sonia Kashuk Kabuki. So I put it on top and just smear it around. It takes a couple of minutes and it sets really nicely. And then throughout the summer, I noticed it was giving me like a nice glow. Honestly, I thought it was just because I was pregnant and it was the hormones. So very happy that it still gives me a really nice glow just kind of on the cheeks. I'm not wearing it today but I have used it as a primer and put foundation on top of it. It works great that way and I've worn it a hundred times by itself. I thought I was going to go through it pretty fast. There's 50 mils in here. I have hair stuck in my lipstick. That's annoying. I thought I was going to go through it pretty fast but there's still a lot in here and it's definitely one of those products that if I was out of it right now I would run to the store right now to get it. I don't think I can live without this stuff. I will definitely be using this again in the summer as a foundation and I'll probably continue to wear it as a primer and then the like no makeup makeup days. You know with the girls going to school and getting up so early and not really getting a lot of sleep anymore for certain reasons, I've been using this stuff all the time and it's so easy. You just plop it on and you know that you're covered and you're, you're good to go. Love it, love it, love it. I would go check it out. I love this stuff. Next face product is a blush and it is one of the Benefit box blushes. This is Rocketeur. Let's see if I can... Uh, struggling here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've got the sun. <laughs> the sun is actually coming through the window. I swear about an hour ago, maybe an hour ago, I thought it was going to snow. Like it was going to snow. The sky was gray, dark gray. It was windy, it was freezing. <laughs> Our weather here changes every, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. It's bizarre. And now it is like bright and sunny. It's still windy, but it's so bright. And before I had like lights everywhere because it was so dark and now, now there's like too much sunlight coming through the window. I know, problems. Back to Rocketeur, but I thought being my first box blush, I was going to go through it really fast and it's been over a year. It's been over a year since I've had it and I'm just starting to hit pan in the middle. I don't know if you can see, starting to make a bit of a dent. I went crazy with this when I first got it and then it's just kind of been hit and miss with other blushes. 
but I've been using this a lot in the last couple of months and kind of rediscovering why I loved it. This was another just easy, foolproof, grab and go type, type blush type product. Okay, well done. It's time for a coffee break, clearly. I hate coffee. I'm not a coffee fan, but it is a necessity of life. This is what I do. I chase my coffee with water. <laughs> Gross. <sighs> okay, Rockateur, blush. I love it. I don't remember what else I was gonna say about it, but it's a good product. Huh. Another blush for this month, or I guess last two months, is a NARS blush, and this one is Matahari. I hope I'm saying that right. I really do like that name, Matahari. And it's just a really nice rosy pink. I'm trying to get it under the sunlight now. Mwah. Yeah, right there. I am wearing it today, as you can kind of see. Just a really nice, pretty, rosy pink. This color is great just to kind of give you that I'm awake, I'm alive look, but you definitely need, I definitely need. So this one's really good. It looks intimidating. When I first picked it up, I thought, oh my God, that's going to be so dark, but it does sheer out really nicely. This is actually the second application of this, and it does, like I said, sheer out really, really nice, or you can have it darker. It's a good one. It's a good one. We'll go with that. Okay, next product I want to talk about is mascara. You guys know how much I love my mascara. I love my eyes. Gotta accentuate the eyes. I did a tutorial review on this one. It is the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. Cat Eyes. So I use this more in August than I have throughout September, but I still really like it. I love the, oh look, the sun's going down. Oh, now it's coming back up. Bizarre. Okay, I love the brush. I've been doing a lot of single shadows. Um, part of my n no makeup makeup look, I will either do nothing at all, I'll just do like a naked lip, <laughs> lip, <laughs> naked lid, or I will bust out my MAC palette and use this shade, which is all that glitters. It's really pretty. It's kind of a champagne-y. <laughs> kind of a champagne-y color. I use a fluffy brush. Mm, if I can find one. Nope. Yep. I'll just grab a fluffy brush, put it in there, and dust it on really quick. And it just gives a little, a little something that almost went into my coffee gives a little something. It's not too exciting, but it's better than nothing at all. So I've been doing that with my like no makeup makeup. How many times can I say that today? Or I will bust out my favorite for a long time, which is this one here. This one over here was all that glitters. This one here is satin taupe. Oh, I think I might've talked about this one in other videos. These are the type of shadows that I love, these satiny type. I could wear these forever. This color is amazing. Looking at it, you're kind of like, yeah, meh, it's a gray, whatever. It does amazing things. I've done this as just a single shadow all over, using the same fluffy brush, just kind of shearing it out, dusting it everywhere. Or I've taken a shadow brush and really concentrated it. I've done it as a lid color. I've done it a lot as a crease color. I think it's one of those MAC shades that you need to have. Everybody needs to have it. It's a good one. The only thing I've been using on my lips the last two months, so August and September, is, oh look, even though the writing came off, <laughs> is my MAC lip gloss in pink. It's just pink. Ugh. This has been so easy to grab. Oh, it's so pretty. See? Right there. So pretty. 
it's been so easy to grab and just pop it on really quick and then I'm out the door, doctor's appointments, school, whatever has to be done. I mean, you either love MAC lip glosses or you hate them. They definitely are sticky. I think everybody knows that they're sticky. I don't mind them being sticky at first. What bugs me is when they start to wear off and then they get like gooey sticky. I don't know if you guys know what I'm you guys know what I mean but they get kind of weird sticky after and it's like okay either I need to apply more or I need to wipe it off because that's when it gets to like the annoying part but they last a really long time and they have good pigments like I can just pop that on and go it's no big deal and I'm surprised it's not empty actually because I've been using this a lot for the last couple of months even I guess really even in this month this current month October um, I've been using it quite a bit on top of stuff and yeah I'm not really good I will admit right now I'm not good at pairing a lip gloss with a lipstick I have so many lip glosses which you've seen in other videos and I suck really bad at finding the right gloss to go with the lipstick I hate putting on a beautiful lipstick and then putting on a gloss and it changes the color I hate that it drives me crazy Sometimes you can luck out and come up with a really nice combination, but most of the time I just want the color of the lipstick, not changing it. So besides using just a clear gloss or this is what I do, I grab my Rosebud, I think it's Slav, I don't even know, oh shiny everybody, I'll grab some of this and that's what I did today. Um, it's a pretty matte lipstick that I have on today. It's my, I shouldn't be showing you guys this because I want this in my October favorites, but you'll see it again. My Too Faced Melted lipstick in Melted Berry. I waited over a month to get this shade. Mm, it's such a fall color. I love this shade. But it, they do go on, not matte, but they do have that drying feeling. So I just dab a little bit of this on top instead of a gloss. So I've been using this a lot too instead of pairing a lipstick with a gloss and changing the color. So, I'm excited. <laughs> that is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about when it comes to makeup and beauty and anything makeup and beauty related. There is one more, one more monthly favorite. I shouldn't even call this a monthly favorite. This is like a forever favorite and I'm very excited to share it with you guys if you haven't been able to tell. So hold on. Hold on. Hi. <laughs> Say hi everybody. Oh the camera's too high now. Oh no. Oh no sad face. Mommy woke me up. Say hi. Hi out there. So I wanted to introduce the newest member to our ever-growing family, my beautiful youngest daughter. She's so snuggly. Ah. So her name is Evangeline. We call her Ava, or as the girls like to call her, Baby Ava. And she is honestly the most precious gift of life. Ah. She's so amazing, you guys. I can't, can't even explain to you. Mm, makes me want to cry. I'll try not to get emotional. Oh, I am getting emotional. So, Miss Beautiful Ava here. <laughs> she finally decided to grace us with her, her wonderfulness and her, her beauty. She was born September 3rd. She was due on the 10th and she decided to come out on the 3rd and it was a struggle. <laughs> it was tough on both of us. Um, definitely out of the four, definitely the hardest. Um, the last few weeks of pregnancy were horrible. We were in and out of the hospital. It was really scary <laughs> and really crazy. I've never had to deal with it before. Um, and then labor was, was tough and there was complications, but she came out and everything's great. I'm doing great. She's amazing. As you can tell, she's so amazing. 
So she ended up being seven pounds, five ounces, which is the biggest weight out of all the girls. Oh, I know. Ah, big yawns. And she was 20 inches long, which all my girls are long. They were all long. I don't know where they get the height from because it's not from me. And yeah, so today's the second. This video will probably go up tomorrow on the third. So she will officially be one month tomorrow, which is crazy. Let's look, look at the little snuggle bum. Hey, oh, little snuggle bum. So I wanted to share her with you guys and yeah, just so excited to finally have her here and finally be able to enjoy her and snuggle with her. But that's definitely the reason why <laughs> why I haven't been able to get any videos up. Every time I plan to do a video and I set everything up and I get ready, <laughs> something always comes up. It's happened a million times, but I am determined to get more videos up. I'm thinking my plan right now might be just to set my camera up and sit down and get ready. And if I get any good footage out of it, I will share it with you guys. But things should start to calm down pretty soon. Right? Oh, you tell them. She is on a schedule, thank goodness, but with my girls going to school and their schedule, it's just crazy. It's chaotic around here. You going back to sleep? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I promise to get some more videos up. Just bear with me. Hopefully we can, we can get on a really good schedule where I'm able, me. that's my phone, where I'm able to get some stuff up and going because I miss you guys. I want to share more fun stuff with you and probably see see this one in some videos. I don't think she'll be doing my makeup anytime soon, but we'll, we'll get there. Hey okay, guys, I think she's going back to sleep. She's due for a feeding, but I wanted to share everything with you. So that is it for now. It's my August, I almost forgot what month we're in now. Okay, that was my August and September favorites all together. And this one definitely is favorite number one. She's saying, Mom, stop talking. Change me and feed me. Stop showing me off. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for putting up with all my craziness. I know this video was probably hard to watch. It was hard to get through, but we did it. So... <laughs> As always, all of my social media links are down below. I would love if you came and hang out with me. I definitely use my Facebook page more than anything, but come hang out on my Facebook page because that is my different, that is definitely my favorite way to connect and share pictures and do all that. Um, if you like this video, even with all the chaos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be great too. I would love if you catch all my new videos. And I would love if you guys leave some comments and tell me what your monthly favorites have been. I can't believe we're in October. My gosh. Halloween is like right, and then Christmas. They're both right around the corner, you guys. Oh, what are we going to be for Halloween, Ava? What are we going to be? Are we going to be princesses because we're so pretty? She doesn't care. She really doesn't care right now. <laughs> Can mommy get all your candy? Free chocolate. Hell yeah. Oh, say bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.